Hi, Pat LeFemin here with DeerRealtor.com, and I'm going to be showing you the Precision Super Cedar by Cabela's. And I got to tell you, I I am so impressed with this machine. Uh, this is what we all ask for. Anybody who puts a lot of food plots in, this is exactly what you wanted. You want something that's no-till. You want something that could that could seed big seeds and small seeds. We've got a legume box. We've got a primary box here. Uh, in this case, we're, what we're going to do today is we're going to put oats down and we're going to put radishes down. Two radically different size seeds. They go in radically different depths and we're going to put it all down with one pass, no till, with this device. So hang in there and watch how we do this. It was immediately obvious to us that a lot of thought went into the design of the Cabela's by Woods Precision Cedar. Sold in one, two, or three box configurations and in lengths of four or five feet, the Precision Cedar can till, seed, and pack in one pass, saving both time and fuel. At the heart of the Cabela's by Woods Precision Cedar is a highly accurate seed delivery mechanism. Getting a precise seed rate for the crops we wanted to plant was remarkably easy to accomplish. The first step is to remove the seed metering tray from its storage location near the top of the frame. Slide the tray below the primary seed box making sure the seeding tubes are positioned over the metering tray. With the tray in place, place a small amount of seed in the furthest two compartments to the right of the seed box. In this case, we are metering radish seeds inside the small seed or legume box. Carefully measure off 100 feet, then drive that distance at the speed you will be seeding. Once done, remove the metering tray and place the seeds into a small plastic bag. Using any inexpensive reloading, cooking, diet, or other measuring scale capable of weighing within a tenth of an ounce, determine the exact weight of the seed output within your 100-foot test. Now using a simple calculation to convert those ounces into pounds, multiply that number by 373.4. The result is the pounds per acre your precision seeder is producing. In the case of these small radish seeds, we were shooting for a rate of 8 to 10 pounds per acre. Because this was a combination planting with oats, we repeated the same steps for the oats which we placed in the primary seed box. With both seed boxes configured, it was time to start planting. The first field would be no-tilled. We had sprayed Roundup and killed the weeds, but there was heavy thatch. Because of this heavy thatch, we adjusted the disc harrow at a sharp angle. This allowed for a more aggressive till for better soil exposure. Making one single pass, the unit was able to break the ground, deliver the seed, push the seed down through the thatch, and firm it down with the cultivator. Once the no-till field was completed, we moved on to a different field which was recently tilled. It was easier to see the results on tilled soil as the unit tilled, seeded, rolled, and packed with amazing efficiency in one pass, dropping two different seeds at two different rates at the right depth. The total time needed to till, seed, and pack both of these one acre fields was 20 minutes. This job would normally take us about half a day. With the Cabela's by Wood Cedar, we were done before breakfast. Okay, so we just finished tilling both fields. What we did is we did a no-till field. This was the worst possible conditions. Heavy thatch, you know, lots of green stuff popping up, and we want to see how well the, the seeds germinate here. But from all indications, it planted beautifully. So I looked down and I was peeling the, the thatch back and I could see good seed to soil to contact. I, I think this thing is gonna be fantastic for no-till fields. Then what we did is we moved to a tilled field 
and we did we went through and used a precision superseder on the tilt field and as you can see by the footage incredible turning the soil over dropping the seed down at a perfect rate put, putting the seed back to you know the soil back on top uh, and then packing it down with the cultipacker for a nice firm seed bed so you know we've only spent one day working with this thing but i absolutely am already in love with it i cannot wait to use this on my big fields fantastic product